Hello people of YouTube and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to more videos from the Golf Club 2 game for the PS4. Um, I'm going to start off the video uh, a couple of questions. Uh, Rattlehead85 actually replied back and was asking if the win calculations are the same for all clubs and I think maybe shots as well. Basically it's for full shots or a normal shot as it says in this game um, pitch and chip shots and flop shots are not really affected by the wind um, I think they've done that for a reason because sometimes you you don't hit a full shot, you've got to hit like a partial shot as they call it so you're not hitting like a full flop, you might only be hitting like a three quarter swing or a half swing so I think they factored out the wind because the wind really should affect it to a certain extent, but I think they've took that out because there is a lot of a lot of variance in the the shot that you hit. You could actually hit under or over or hit it fairly perfect. So for pitch shots, the wind doesn't really affect it as much. And I'm going to play around soon, and I'll, I'll probably like demonstrate that if possible. It's quite hard to do it and set up shots, but we could do it in the the actual training area but I don't know uh, but it doesn't it really it's the same for all clubs basically but sometimes with the wind it, it can be done by feel and it's, it's difficult to explain but sometimes if you're standing on quite a long par par 3 for instance and you've maybe got like a 5 iron approach or a 4 iron like maybe something that's like, like 200 odd yards and you've done all your, all your calculations and you factored in that the carry distance is whatever, you know, X amount of yardage. And that a four iron is probably going to be, you know, that that little bit short. But sometimes I, I've, I've felt that you can be quite short. It, it, it's, it really has a feel. It's, you do have a gut feel. And sometimes I've, I've stood in a, a team and went, do you know what, I need to just club not club down but, but just deal off this just a touch to get it there because you feel that sometimes the wind might actually just take a bit more off it than normal um, but the wind calcu calculations that I used in that video are pretty much bang on um, if you stick by those and you do your calculations right well you should you should be good with that pre-shot routine set up um, the second one I, I want to talk about is handicap before I before I start here um, and it, it's quite an important thing a lot of people a lot of people that I've saw I'm not really understanding how the handicap system works not so much like you know basically if I'm a, a, a scratch golfer I play the golf course as it is if you're um, like a 10 handicapper then you'd, you you would actually receive 10 shots and if you're a plus hand, handicap golf at plus five, then you would get five shots taken off your score. That's how the handicap what that's not what I'm gonna explain. It's the actual how you get your handicap deductions and add. I'm gonna explain how that works. Now if we go to my profile and we go to my handicap record. Oh, I need connection to the internet. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. Right, okay. <coughs> so that's not going to work. Um, basically, I was, I was actually going to play uh, the Lynx course. Now, when we bring this up, if you go to the handicap there, it says 74.8 and 150. Now, 150 is the actual slope rating of the greens. I don't know if it's the slope rating for the course as well like fairways, but I think it's the greens. I mean, I could be wrong in that. But that's a slope rate. And the higher the, the number, 150 is actually the highest I've seen. I think I've seen 133, and I've seen as low as 80-something. So that's actually quite a high one. And the number to the left of that, the 74.8. Now, it's a past 72. So this course is actually playing 2.8 over the, the handicap or over the par, the handicap of this course is 74.8 which basically means that 
I'm I'm trying to think what my handicap. I think I'm plus one point something at the moment, one point four. Uh, but I was playing Royal Burkdale there, and Royal Burkdale is actually 63.9 handicap, which basically means if I want to play that, say I, I was going to play that course for the rest of my, my playing career or, on this game, I would actually have to shoot 70, 63 or better to start improving my handicap, which I think is actually quite scary, because I think Royal Burkdale... I did shoot a 59, uh, sorry, a 58 on that course, but that was only, when you look at that, that's only 5.9 below the, the average handicap, which is kind of scary when you think about it, because, I mean, that's that's a phenomenal round of golf. So, Buckdale's got a really, really low handicap, uh, which is quite annoying, because I think it plays, you know, I've shot like 4 under, 3 under, I don't really think I've had a really. I've had 71. In fact, I played my uh, society, uh, 146th Open Championship versus the pros there. And I actually played 71. Uh, then I had was that a 69. So I was a level part. Then I had my 58. And then I shot. I think the final round I shot a 68. Uh, I think I was two under par for my final round. Uh, but that course plays actually quite tough. And I think it's it's I think the handicap of that course is just crazy. Um, but that's the kind of handicap part explained. And by the way, if you haven't seen my third round of the open, my live stream, uh, give it a watch because it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm quite proud of the, the score. I just played just unbelievable golf. I was first six holes. I was actually uh, level part. I started off with four. Four pars, birdie, and then a bogey. So I was basically after six holes, I was level par, and basically from the seventh hole to the eighteenth, I played twelve under par, uh, and I actually parred. I think it was the seventeenth. I, I got a par, and I eagled the sixteenth. So if you average it out, I, I basically birdied every single hole on the, on, on the way home. I played phenomenal golf, and it, it's it's worth watching because it's a live stream as well. It wasn't like uh, I, I basically played that, I, I got a 58 and I went and recorded it with uh, Elgato, it was basically a live play as it happens, uh, it was just phenomenal. Probably one of the best videos that I think I've ever made, if I'm, if I'm honest. Um, so let's get into this this, this round here. Uh, again I'm going to play like a tutorial video, but what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to really play the course. It's a tough course, it's not an easy course. I might not play the full 18. I might just play like 9 holes, because I'm probably going to be explaining a lot of stuff, like what I'm doing. Um, I do that sometimes when I play in my live stream. I'll, I'll kind of tell you what I plan on doing. Because um, there's a lot of folk who really don't do that. They just maybe work out a yardage, then they work out a coordinate. I'm telling you exactly what I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit. So here we go. So that, that this course is pretty tough. I think I've played it. I think I've played it Hello once. There and welcome to the golf club. Let's play some of the golf pump. So the wind's behind. So I'm just going to play it probably just, just left or right of the middle there. There we go, we get our draw swing. It's going to find out rough, is it? It's going to kick over. It kicks over. You can actually see that the slope there is quite a lot. We're probably actually going to have quite a bad uh, slope for a, a shot. So, right. pre-shot routine for a drive. I should have probably went over that. Basically, all I do is look at the wind, then think about what shot I'm going to hit. So, whether I'm going to hit the draw, which is my normal shot, or hit the fade. Uh, and then basically I just I pick a, a spot in the fairway where I know the ball's going to drift and my shot's going to shape into it. Uh, and that's my kind of piece shot routine for the driver. It's a bit more simplified. Uh, approach, it's always the same for me. I always check the, the, the whole distance, elevation up. 
So you could probably actually add that 146. Wind's coming off her back, so it probably is going to be playing all four. So that's 142. That brings that, we calculate that wind minus four off the, the, the total we had before, and that's 142. Slight uphill wide, there's not a lot. So I'm probably actually going to hit this normal because we, we need to hit it one four two. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to take just a bit of that. I'm just going to put two t absolute tiny sort of hairline movements on that short modifier. Uh, now the salt's quite severe, but I really don't think it's going to affect it as much. So I might go up, shoot it, I need to go back, I need to redo that. Right, there's the, the, the loft back in. I'm going to go over, that's because I, I moved over using the, the L2 button. I reckon I'm going to go over here. And then what I'm going to actually do here, I'm going to go over another touch, I'm actually going to hit the, the fade shot. Because it's going to fade into that wind and it's going to hold it a little bit. So let's go and hit the fade shot here. Let's set up for it. And really, when I hit the fade shot, it's all about alignment of my controller. Really? Now, disappointing there. The shot went 142 yards. But we didn't really get the, the okay, action that we re required off that, that wind. So we're still, we're still close to the pin. Um, but we're not really as close as what we should be. So now, uh, as I said before, the P-Shot routine in, in the last video, you've got different sets of P-Shot routine. You've got your, your T P-Shot routine, you've got your, your approach P-Shot routine, and you've also got your P-Shot routine on your, your putting. Now, putting for me is... I'm saying it's simple, but... I basically do the same, 25 foot, so that, that's the distance to, to the actual hole. Now it says one foot up, now is it one foot, which would be 12 inches. So basically I'll, I'll go into this mode, put the flag in to help, I'll bring this uh, aim marker down. So now you can actually see it's one inch more than, than what, a foot. So I always, I always check the exact measurement above the hole. And that's quite important because that foot, it says a foot up, but it doesn't give you exactly what it is. I mean, that could have been 16 inches up, it could have been 18, it could have been 20 inches up. Uh, and then it can go to two foot, which would be 24 inches. But you really need to get in, because it, it, that could be anywhere between 12 inches and 24 inches. And some people would go, but right, it's a foot up, so I need to add like a foot's worth of uh, slope. Or elevation into my putt, but if, if that if that that could actually be twenty three inches up, so it's actually an inch below two foot. So basically, you need to factor in a lot more uh, a lot more power into your, your your putt. So always get the exact number to the pin. So we're thirteen inches up. So I, I basically add that onto my twenty three foot, which is basically going to give me thirty six. So that's thirty six foot, or just basically call it 36 uh, that's the distance that I need to hit that so I'll then work out my break remember I've got that number in my head to 36 so I then start to look at break and reading break is you actually do get used to it sometimes if you get a double breaker you can actually take out lines or beats so say if a bead's going one way and a, then the next line a bead's going the opposite way but they're going at both the same speed. Basically you could actually take both of those out and it, you just basically would go straight through because it's going to go that way and it's going to come back. So it's actually going to transverse through those two boxes straight if you know what I mean. Um, sometimes you don't get double breakers but if you do get double breakers you, you, can, you can rule out some lines and simplify the the, the putting method. So basically this is quite a consistent putt. It's a uh, left left hand break 
and it's not to be honest it's not frightening it's not like like a huge amount the next thing I do is I go into the, the zoomed view so we're almost ready to put we've got our 36 that's the number that's the power distance I need to hit this break I think is not going to be much I think it's going to be in a bit like that and that's all about feel but you can do the numbers and you know rough, roughly how much it does break. So maybe just put another little bit. So this 36. So I'm now ready to, to put my next step. I've, I've done, I've calculated the, the distance that I need to hit the ball. Then I've worked out the break. So basically I've punched in to my, my kind of like hit computer if you, if you, if you like. Punched in the 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 number I need to hit and also the, the, the break. So the only thing I need to do now is put a stroke on it. Now, 36 is, basically if I, if I demonstrate here, that's at 5 foot, that's at 10 foot, that's at 15 foot, that's at 25. Now that might not actually go 25 foot on this type of green speed. Uh, this is, this is kind of where and this is quite a good putt actually for a, a first green because 36 is is a distance where you're going to be hitting from out here somewhere. Um, one thing that I do is is I actually gauge there. See, what, if you look at that, that's at the back foot, that's at the back foot, that's at the back foot, and that is your. It's almost like the only real true gauge that you've got when you putt is that back right foot and if you can get the number so I mean I don't think that's going to be enough to get there um, I think I need to go slightly outside my foot so I'm going to gauge this probably a bit there. Let's go there. Just that's just outside my, my back foot. And you can see there that is that's not going to get there. That's actually going to come back to me. So that is not really a good putt. Then you see there it actually goes beyond. So that putt was well short. But what I've learned from that putt. And I'll go back into my, my putt view that that there is not a 36 rated distance. So that's what I've, that's it, that's the kind of like intelligence or the data I've collected. That, that there is not 36. So this putt's actually going to be longer. I'll do the same. Get this to where I need it to be. So it's 31. So it's 14 up. That's going to be 41. That's going to be 45. So remember before we had a 36. Again, I'm going to look at the break. I mean, really, it's. I'm going to actually just aim here. So I need to hit this 45. Now that didn't even go close. So we need to go, I think, there. But really long putting is quite, it is quite difficult. And it's all about feel and it's all about, now that was a perfectly weighted putt. So that's a 45 putt. So I kind of, I've got that in muscle memory now. So I know if I, in like the next couple of holes, if I have a putt that is 45, well, I need to hit it 45 pace, then I roughly know Starting where to, to putt. Over par. So in a way, you could almost say that that's, that first hole was an absolute disaster. The tee shot was okay, or the tee shot was good actually, the approach was okay, um, the putt was, was pretty bad. We've got a bogey, but we've actually gauged a 45 and a 36 foot putt 
So that sets us up for the next couple of holes, and you always need to remember. Some people just putt and go, oh, I've, I've messed that putt up. But if, if you look at where that putt distance gets you, because remember, these greens always change from course to course. You'll, you'll play greens that are fast, you'll play, play greens that are slow. And really, the first couple of holes are the most important holes of a, a, a course. It's another pre-shot routine, or pre-course pre routine routine actually where you check the, the distance of the greens or the green speeds and then you need to really adapt quite quick in order to score well. So one five six wind is ever so slightly in our face. You could probably actually say that that is maybe like maybe add two onto your, your, your wind gauge, maybe three. So I'd maybe say that's one five nine. So I've got an eight iron here. I'm going to do my, I'm actually going to have to aim maybe at the, the, the hole because I'm, I'm going to draw this into the wind. Maybe go a bit there. Right, one five, yeah, I'm going to deal off this a touch. And then I'm going to hit my shot, I'm going to hit this drop. So there you go, get my draw shot. It's maybe not as much as my Beauty. usual draw, which takes it away a little bit. I wish they aimed over a little bit there, just a bit more. And you're on the green with a very so we're on the green. So as I said before, the green speed, the, the, the fastest of the greens is up there, 174. 187 is the fastest green speed you get in the game, and 101 is the slowest. So you've got quite a big range of green speed. So these greens are fairly fast. They're not super fast. They're not the fastest you can get, but they are quite, quite quick. Okay, so green green routine here is basically it doesn't really change. I sometimes scout out, so there you go, twenty foot, it's one foot up. Now again, it's probably gonna be about 12, 13 inches. But I don't guess that. I get to where it is. No, it's actually not. It's six inches up. Which is actually quite interesting how it says a foot. But it's actually only six inches up. I find that quite interesting. That's why you always get that that number. Put your marker because you're not hitting to that marker. It's not like Tiger Woods, P or a uh, Rory McIlroy, PJ Tour, where you can actually put into like a, an actual zone. If you know what I mean. Um, you make the putt speed yourself. So that's basically six inches up. So that's point twenty six. So I don't really know why that is saying a foot. I'm 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 a little bit I'm a little bit actually kinda that, that's strange to me. Right, so we've got a twenty six foot putt. So let's get the break here. Um Okay, it's it's breaking quite fast actually. Uh, the putt beats are going there quite strong. I would maybe put it out here. Okay, so the last, if you remember the last screen there, the putt, we did have a putt that was 36 and we had it really well, well shot. Uh, then we had a putt that was 40. So the 40 putt was a bit there, maybe. So we need to hit this 26. So I would say, I would say somewhere here. Well, I would actually say maybe even the back foot. I think the back foot is about 25, 26. So let's head off the back foot. Right, so you see that that went 15 foot. So you can honestly see from the back foot there that, that is that's going to get you 20 foot on these greens roughly. Let's try and get this. It's breaking a little bit. So we get it in. Set it up. So, can I, to yeah, summarise what I've actually done there, the I've basically got my part. I bogeyed the first hole, which was basically just a bad putt, really. Um, but we've now gauged that putting from the, the back foot will get us 20 foot or a 20 distance in, in putting. You can use 20 foot. 20 feet 
it's probably actually better to you to use that term. But we've now got okay, the green speeds go. kind of locked in. So we've, it's, it's taken us t two greens basically to get that speed and to get the, the actual uh, speed of the greens and locked in to the, to the shot meter for, for putting. So this is quite a difficult hole. So here we go again. Um, tee shot we take off the tee. Quite a difficult hole to get in the fairway. Um, this is not an easy course. Uh, my train of thoughts here is basically I want to hit a fade into that. So I'm actually going to set up for a fade. So I get my controller. I get my fingers set. And there we go. Oh, we hit it fast. Fast downswing. We're not getting... We actually did hit the fade on the cone. But you see there, we've got a fast downswing, which has actually brought us over to the left. So that's actually quite a bad shot. Now this shot has got a lot of risk. Um, that water is, is in play actually. Um, this is this is not the easy shot because we've got 82 to 88 percent percentage of shot, so we're not going to hit a good shot out of this, and we need to be really careful of this here. So do we really go for, for the flag? I mean, to be honest, it's it's risky. If, if we go for that flag, we need to be we need to be really precise. Um, we've actually quite a good wide, so that factors in quite a good thing. But to be honest, I would rule out going for the for, for the pin. Because it's playing eight foot down, so that's like ninety two. The wind is going to bring that up to a hundred. Then you've got to factor in the percentage. So I would actually hit this one thirty, and I'm actually going to aim away from from the the pin. And we've actually had a fade shot on that, which was not what I actually intended. So there you see, we're actually quite long. Quite a bit away from the pin, but we really didn't take that shot on. I don't think it was a really risky shot. Um, it's this not like you've got a long iron in your hand, but to be honest, it's really difficult. So here we go. I actually got a pot. Now, I'm going to look up here. So basically, that says two inches up, and that is exactly what it is. That's playing a 46. So remember that first green that made a 45 putt. Now muscle memory is we've already had a putt this distance. So let's get this, the the break here. It's breaking quite a bit. And there's a, that, it's actually probably going to break more off that slope to our, our left as well. Okay, so this is this is not really. I wouldn't say this was a makeable putt. But the thing is here, we actually know the distance we need to hit, roughly. I think that's about forty-five there. So it puts away. Okay, it's went by the hole a little bit. It maybe was a little bit strong, but you can see that okay, the, see what you can we kind of gauge the distance quarter. reasonably well because we had that putt in the first green, so we, we've learned the distance control with the putter and these green speeds. And that's another thing about learning greens quick. As I say, the first two or three greens, you really are sort of testing the water a little bit. So, a little bit of break at our feet comes over. I reckon that should just do it. Right edge. Oh, but I didn't really go back there. We had a little glitch. See, that stayed out. That, that's kind of interesting. That's where sometimes putts Let's do don't this. break as much as what you think. And um, that kind of fooled me a little bit. I've, I've, I've got to admit. 
sitting at two over for the round. So we really should have had a par there. Oops, cat's going a bit, a bit dark. That's a crazy cat. Okay, um, five here. So we kind of messed up. So here we go, par five. Probably going to aim just to that, that right hand side. We're going to hit this with a bit of draw. We could hit a fade, but I quite like hitting the draw shot off the tee. And we get that fast again. That fast is coming into my swing quite a lot. We do hook over a little bit more than normal, but we get a good, really big bounce there over to the right hand side. Nice. So that, that fast yeah, element of the, the, the tempo of the swing does here. creep in every now and again. So 225, 6 foot up, that's going to be two, 227, wind's behind. It's going to bring it down to 221 if we want to be precise. Um, uphill wise slightly, it's not going to really affect too much. So, two, it's actually two two three now. So again, what I'm doing here is I'm going to factor in the slope here. So I think we're going to actually have to start it off here. I might actually have a fade shot here. Um, these cats are going crazy. So two hundred twenty three. <laughs> they're actually making me laugh. Uh, I've got a four hybrid, which is two ten, but that is going to roll. A little bit of distance, but it's not going to go super long, if you know what I mean. So we probably, I'm actually going to deal off this a bit. I'm going to go to a bit there. I'm going to hit this with a fade. So here we go, set up. Oh, that's one glitch. So there we go, we get the fade. It's holding its line a little bit. It's going to bounce. Might roll a little bit because it, it hurt the green. But I mean that's not too bad. That that's just yeah, it's gonna catch a slope there, which is good. It's gonna bring it back a little bit. So Whoa, uh, yeah, you hit the green and under We actually hit a club. We did deal off that a little cut. bit. Maybe if we hadn't no, deal offed it as much, it might have been a little bit closer to the pin. But then we might have caught that rough there, just for that fourteen yard uh, marker is just below that. We probably would have hit that, and then it could have went really anywhere. So we've actually hit quite a good shot in here. In fact, we're pretty much, pretty much plumb ball. Now, I, 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 again, this is another tip that I showed you before. Hit the triangle button on, on the PS4, get down low, and then use the right analog stick to get into these lines here. Because, yeah, that's... And it says that that's straight, and do you know what? That is straight. And that one there, yeah. There's not much. That is almost straight. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Now, it, it's, it's, it's quite difficult when you, you sort of see and tell people what I'm going to do because it's it can make a fool of you to a certain extent. Now, basically, the, the pot line... Pot line just a uh, just above our, our ball there is going to to the right. The one at the hole is going to the left. Now if you look at both of them, if you if you kind of look at the speed they're both going, technically they actually take each other out of the equation. And that middle line is perfectly straight. So basically, this is a straight putt. Because that line and that line are doing the exact same thing, so basically they're kind of cancelling each other out. So I don't know, I mean, probably you should, you should know kind of what I'm talking about. It's, it's basically a, a straight putt. So the moment of truth, and straight putts are horrible in this game because if it's not straight, we're going to find out pretty quick. So it's 11. Two inches down, so I'm just gonna hit it basically. Oh, that was now that drifted a little bit, which is quite interesting. 
Um, for the bird. Now that's quite interesting. We actually thought that that line in the middle was straight. If you look at it there, it's got a point B coming over. So, well, that that line actually did really look straight. But there you go, it was just enough to take it, and we actually did miss that putt. That was not a straight putt. Yes. So I mean, basically, this game does fool you sometimes. Sitting at one over for the round. But we get the birdie. I mean, that that was an eagle putt, which we probably should have made. But we do make mistakes. All right, you're gonna put this in the uh, the fairway. So this video, I'm kind of doing a tutorial video. Uh, just talking through elements of how I putt. I'm, I'm trying to explain a bit more outside of the P-Shot routine. Maybe it went putting. I don't think I really explained the putting as much. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But the wind is calculated the same for all normal played clubs. So this one's 449 par 4. Quite difficult par 4. Quite a difficult, uh, quite a difficult landing area. It's 13 foot down, but could we actually get beyond that that bunker there? Could we hit here? Do you know what? I'm actually going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. I don't think we're actually going to get. But it might set up another shot that I want to I want to show you anyway. I'm going to put a fade swing on this. Hold it against that wind and... Oh, we actually do make the fairway. Sweet. So All that's right. actually quite important. So for this shot, I'm not actually going to hit in. I'm not going to hit to the pin. Um, what I actually want to do here, that's what, 95. That's probably going to give us about 60 odd. So I'm going to hit in this pitch shot. I want to get to a number to the green that I can play another pitch shot. Hmm, I don't think this has enough. Oh. Okay, I actually wanted to hit the fairway there, so do you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to go out sideways here. I'm going to hit a chip. So let's get it back onto the, the fairway. That was actually how not to play a shot to move up the, the, the fairway. So here we go. Got a good light. Now we've got 63 yards to this pin. This uh, pitch shot is going to go 65. It's 55. Now you could go, you actually could go two ways with a pitch shot, but I'm actually going to show you that the wind doesn't really affect this as much. Um, I'm moving it slightly. It's probably actually going to go this side. But we'll keep it straight on the pin. Now it's it's actually seven foot up, so you add, you, you do the same calculations, but you don't really factor in the wind as much with, with a pitch shot. So it's 63, seven foot up, so you can actually call that 65, which technically is good. Because this shot technically is going to go 65 yards carry. So what we need to do now is we need to just put some loft on it. Right, just a little bit. Because really what we want to do is just bounce it before the pin and the second bounce it should it should bite in because we're coming from the fairway. Remember, if you hit from the rough, from the light rough, and also from the heavy rough, it's got different forms of you don't get any backspin as much. So you need to factor in a bit more roll distance for that. But also you need to factor in the percentage of the shot that you need to hit it. So it kinda it kinda works out. In a, in a way, if I was in this, this rough with the same shot, I could probably maybe even hit it just normal because the percentage of the shot and also the, the, the extra roll you get from the rough. So let's hit this pitch shot in. Now, this should actually finish quite close to the hole. Black swing glitch is kind of kicking in a little bit. Well, I've actually not hit that well. Now that should have been perfect. Because it's went 64 yards. I actually had that bit fast swing and also 
So that wasn't a good demonstration of how to uh, a pitch. Takes a little bit. The uh, it's twenty-two inches up. Okay, I would say it's slightly outside the right edge. Twenty-two. I went to the back foot there because that is oh the right that distance, good. roughly. Just missed it, didn't really turn in as much. Five footer here, nothing too bad. Oh, you are kidding me. All right, wow. let's see how this adds up. Sitting at four over for the round. Four over par. Mind you, we did take shots that we, okay. we should have been on that green Number two, six. really. Right, I'll play one more hole. As far as tutorials go, it's maybe not been the best in terms of like, oh look at this guy, he's scoring really well in this course, but that's not really what I want to do. I'm, I'm just trying to get like scenar different scenarios, so I'm going to play the three wood here. I'm going to aim just over a little bit. Now the backswing glitch, this is offline mode, and when I've been online, I've not had this happen at all. Again, we hit that with a fast. This fast is creeping in again. But we get a good break there, so nice. happy days. All right, we're about 215 yards from the pin here. Okay. So I can see there 215. It's 14 ups. It's almost five. That's 220. Into the wind, 224, so 224 yards. Now, the important factor here is that we're actually on an upslope, so this club's going to actually go further. So, that 224, I think I need to actually deal off it just a touch. Let's hit this. So we get a perfect, perfect. That's almost a straight swing there. It's going to land just before the, the green and then it rolls on. So that was pretty good distance control. This pretty much bang dirty. on. Birdie putt. One inch down. So it's basically playing 15. Quite a lot of slope on this. Didn't break as much as that. Oh, but really, with this game, you do really do get in a groove. Birdie, so close. Maybe a par here, though, huh? So, not the best to play. I'm, I'm yeah, not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to stand up and say that that was a perfect goal. Basically, if you took that seven, I mean, we probably could have got a par there quite easy. So, technically, we'd actually only been one over par. So. But we tried that pitch shot and we actually failed at, at the pitch shot quite 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 a quite a, bad, a big margin. I just wanted to demonstrate that it's the, the carry of it, you just take a bit off it so that you bounce before the hole and then you basically sort of bite up if you're coming from the fairway. Um but hopefully that can explain some of the, 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 the kind of putting side of the game. How, uh, how you gauge the distance. If you can get that, you need to set that up early on so that you can actually work out if you get that putt later on in the round, you know roughly what to hit. So anyway guys, uh, once again I've got to, I've got to thank the, the people that have su subscribed to the channel. Um, um, you know, I've actually just checked my account. Uh, my mum and dad actually came down for coffee last night and uh, at that point, I had 88 sub subscribers, uh, and I checked when they left later on, a couple of hours later, and it actually went up to 91. So I'm, I'm currently still at, at, at 91 subscribers. So, uh, 
absolutely a big thank you to anybody who's, who's sub subscribed to my channel in the last kind of like last couple of months. Uh, I mean, I'm getting ever so closer to a hundred. I only need another nine subscribers now to get a hundred. And for me, a hundred su subscribers, I just never thought I would ever get that. Uh, and I'm really greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. I guess. It means a lot. Um, I actually got a comment. Somebody uh, disliked one of my, my my videos. I think it was the, I think it was the Open Championship. Was it the fourth round? And somebody disliked it, and it's amazing how much that still kind of cuts you a little bit. And I I know it shouldn't, but it, it you know when you get good comments and likes, it's really it's really good, and you you're kind of on a high. Um, you know you. You're sort of elevated a little bit, and you feel good, but you get that dislike, and it's quite annoying. Uh, but I mean, not everybody's gonna gonna like your video, and I, I fully understand that. Um, but it is kind of annoying when that happens. But I'm really just super greatly appreciated for people that that have been subscribing in the past couple of days. I'm I'm going to do more kind of tutorial type videos. Um, if anybody out there that watches this and maybe needs a question answered like you know if they want me to do a better explanation of the uh, handicap system or they want me to demonstrate how I hit a draw and a fade shot and how I set up my my, my swing how I hold my, my controller I've done videos on this before but I feel like this is a kind of rolling tutorial type video where um, comments that are made can can affect the next video. So if, if somebody's maybe says, "Oh, I kind of get what you mean by putting," but I can maybe go a, a bit more in depth into putting and how I do it. Uh, I can just focus on that a bit more, or I can do more of the same where I, I just if somebody wants me to to highlight something, maybe it could be putting, driving, approach play just really anything that, that, that people want because uh, I really made this video because the uh, Rattlehead is it Rattlehead 85 uh, commented on one of my previous videos and kind of asked about the the wind calculations are the same for and they are the same for normal shots but pitch shots you really don't need to factor that in which I think is I don't know I think they really should be um, but anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. As I say, ignore that plus four because that that fifth hole we really just kind of had a couple of shots to get the shot that I wanted and then I ended up hitting that shot really bad and I'm, I probably should have went to the, the, the training area. The training area might be the best place to do this kind of thing because we could actually, like, you can actually play the same shot again. You can put the kind of auto mulligan on and you can basically just hit the same shot again and again and again then move on somewhere else so I may actually take this to the, 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 the practice area and can explain stuff but I hope you enjoyed the video click subscribe and I'll see you for more videos coming up soon, enjoy the rest of your day guys and girls see you soon, take care bye